Yo, what is going on T Squad? It is your boy T here, man. We are back with a brand new reaction video. Now, today, I'm gonna be reacting to James Yap's full highlights for San Miguel. Dropped 21 points. Now I know you guys love James Yap. Everybody loves him. I'm not saying like it, I'm not saying like it's a bad thing to like him. It's just like I think he's a good player personally. I think he's a really good player, but like I don't know if I missed it back when I used to react to him all the time, but like, what's the hype behind James Yap? Like, what's the hype behind it? Okay, I'm not saying he's bad or anything, but I'm just trying to figure out like why he's like a like a, such a huge fan favorite. Like, I, I honestly don't know. You know what I mean? Like, he's I understand he's nice. You know, for his size, he be getting boards, he be getting buckets. Like, the dude's an all-around great basketball player, but it's like he's looked at on like such a high level compared to other players, and it's just like. I'm just, I, I just don't know why I'm pretty sure people have told me in my previous James Yap videos you know why he's at that level why people look up to him at that level but I think I've just forgotten why he's looked at it's like like such a great amazing basketball player not saying he's not but you guys get what I'm saying but man these last few days reacting to basketball man you know when you get to like that certain age I don't know how old most of my um, subscribers are but for me I'm turning 25 this year in August and like even though that's not like too old to like get back into basketball I feel like I'm like reaching that point in my life where it's just like all I can do now is just reminisce you know what I'm saying it's just like you watch basketball and you're like man I remember the days when I was doing that I remember playing basketball or like the old tournaments you'd be at the, the crowd going crazy you know layup lines you know just that that locker room bonding with the team it was just like there comes a point in everybody's life where doing that is no more like a possibility so you just reminisce on all the good good old times when i watch basketball reactions basketball videos highlights it's just like my mind goes back to wondering it's just like all those good times i had so i know i'm not too old to get back into it but i feel like i'm i'm creeping up to that age where it's just like officially just hang up the boots ggs in the chat you know what i'm saying Oh man, that's sad. <laughs> but uh, either way, I hope you guys are excited for this video, man. Shout out to J Ross Films again. Link to his channel will be in the description if you guys want to go watch some more PBA highlight videos. But without further ado, guys, let's get into it. All right, let's get this. He's going up against Radel Shine versus San Miguel. Hold on, I'm gonna see these things real quick. Um, Beerman, who's Von Pesumol? Have I said that right? I don't think I've ever heard of him. I don't think I've ever reacted to him. Should I react to him? Should I react to him, guys? Let me know if I should react to him. Chris Ross, yep. Jim Ma, the Kraken. Marcio Lasseter, yep. Kelly Nabong, yep. Reacted to him before. Maverick, don't know who this. Don't know Chris Rosales. I think I've reacted to him, maybe. Raymond Almazan, yep. Gabe Norwood, Bo Belga. Okay, okay. Pretty, pretty dope team. Is um Stan Hardinger playing for um? What's the team he plays for? What's that team he plays for? Is that why he's not playing right now? What's that team he plays for? I, I reacted to him playing in that tournament. Can't remember. Alab, that's the team. I think? No, I don't think he plays for them. I don't know, I can't remember. Fuck it. Or uh, intimidate inside the paint. Yun ang kanyang malaking uh, bintahe. Come off, pull up, pull up game crazy. Pull up game crazy, man. Like, you look at, look at him, money ball. Don't leave me open, baby. Don't leave me open. Like, you look at James Yap, right? You look at him. You don't see a ball player. Like, that's just facts. I'm not trying to be like a dick. I see, me personally, I see James Yap. I see, like, you know, I look at him, I see a businessman. He's got that businessman kind of swag to him. You know, that, that haircut, you know, that look to him. I could picture him in a suit, you know, working in like an office. And then you put him on the basketball court and he just drops buckets on your ass. <laughs> it's just like, God damn. Like, he's, he's the ones that you got to look out for. It's like, you look at him when like you're like eyeing up a team before you play them. You're like, man, he don't look like he's good. He looks like he's trash. He might be good. He might be good. He looks like he's ass. And the one you say looks like ass is the one that's going to come out there and drop 40 points on your ass. That's the kind of guy James Jet reminds me of. Like, look at him, he don't look like a ball player. Then look at him, come out here, pull up, with a hand in his face, money ball, drop it, hold up the three. Come off that screen, pull up. Okay, nice build pass. He, he could have pulled that, if he, if he wanted to, he could have pulled that. Just saying. 
You're gonna be pulling this one though. Yeah. That's too much space. That's way too much space. That's way too much space. Give it to him. Too much space. He's dropping down to that corner. Oh, 45. Oh, put up. Nice. Wait, that's it. That's it. Hey, hey. Actually, should we watch another James Jet video as well? Hold on. We'll, we'll put two on one. Actually, we'll watch another one. Because that's real short. What's this one? What's this video? James Jet 4 highlights versus Blackwater. I will watch this one too. Shit, we put two on one. Fuck you guys. I'm giving you guys a little treat today. Okay, we're getting two James Jet videos on one. Let's go. Let's just jump right into it. Because that video, that would have been way too short. Let's go. I'm... Does that dude look like Ben Simmons? I think I'm gonna. I don't know where I am, but this dude right here, he looked like a. He looked like a Ben Simmons. Blackwater very nice shot, nice bit. Let's get James yet. Yeah, attack is a little step back familiar. Shout out to Jarosh for the banger videos, man. They be getting them good highlights. He'd be adding in all that like unnecessary extra shit that doesn't need to be added in. Like he gives you what you came for. Buckets. James Jack. Series of substitutions for Blackwater as we see Matt Bella, Jay Jack, and the jumper. Put it in the hand. I'm easy. Libre. Pero mas libre si James. Mm. Mm. This is when you miss a guy like, like John Pinto. Eh? Yes. Yung and one. That's James. <laughs> James, yeah, just keeping his focus. Alam niya kung saan yung basket eh. And he knew that he was going to get a foul, so he released it's a three point play. 47-39. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah, He's uh, automatic from that right there. Anywhere near the free throw line, he is automatic. He's not missing. Pull up. I'm pull up. Pulling that. Come on, young blood. I'm pulling that. Do your scouting report. I'm pulling that. You give me any kind of space like that. I'm pulling. Why is he? Why, why are you leaving Yap so open? I don't understand it. Like, I don't know what it is. Okay, this video is finished anyway. But I don't know what it is, like, what's happened, okay? Like, I know I'm, I'm a youngin' compared to most, um, some of my subscribers, you know, who've been around way longer than me. But ever since I started playing ball right, if somebody on their team is a good shooter, what are you doing as a defender? You're on him. You're wherever he is, you're making sure somebody is near him at all times. It's not I'm not I'm not just saying with this James Jet video. Like I'm just speaking even with NBA right now. Okay? Why is Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Kevin Durant like why are they always open? Because those are obviously the three best shooters in the NBA right now. But if you watch their games, Warriors. I'm not a Warriors fan, but fuck it, I'm wearing a hat. But if you watch their games, one or two of them are always wide open. Like I don't know why, like it's, it's, it just blows it just blows me that players that good at that level are being left open you know you're playing in the nba elite defenders elite offensive players why like i don't i just don't understand it man it's just like you guys get what i'm saying like if somebody in the opposite team is a great shooter why why would he ever be open why there should always be at least one person on him at all times as as the years have gone on man it's like the the defensive efforts have just dropped and it's sad to see man because <clears throat> sorry and it's sad to see because as growing up the quote that i always grew up knowing offense wins games defense wins championships that's what i grew up learning that's that was like my motto growing up for basketball offense wins games defense wins championships and it's just now it's just like whoever can just outscore each other like defense isn't even in the equation anymore and it's sad 
But I mean, it is what it is, man. James, yeah, balling, giving buckets, you know, he's just that good of a player. So, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I added two in for you guys because, you know, adding one James Jab video just it's never enough, you know what I mean? It's just never enough. But um, if you guys like to see me react to any um, other kind of videos, make sure you guys leave it down in the comment section below, and I will get around to reacting to the majority of most of them when I can. But either way, T Squad, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.